hi what's going on everyone and in today's video i want us to take a look at dictionaries in python and if you don't know what that means a dictionary in python is a collection of a key value pairs defined by enclosing elements in curly braces and uh, each key value pair is actually separated by something like a column and the pairs are also separated by commas okay and we're going to uh, take a look at an example so that you can actually understand this definition right now so first of all let's dive in and then create something like a, um, a dictionary right now and to do that it's really very simple let's create a dictionary of a fruit colors okay so i'm going to just do fruit underscore colors like that and we can actually go ahead and set that to be equal to curly brackets just like we mentioned just now and then each of the key value pairs within this place is actually going to uh, be separated by colon okay and um, uh, to do that first of all let's get the first key value pair i'm going to just create something like this is going to be an apple so let's just say apple and then we're going to go ahead and enter uh, a column right here create a space and then we can actually go ahead and then give it a color okay so let's say an apple has a red color okay so we can actually separate each key value piece with a comma that's what i just said in the definition okay so once you say apple right there we can separate that with a comma and then the next one let's say maybe we'll bring in something like banana like that and let's make sure we type banana correctly and then right there we can actually go ahead and set its color right there let's say that the banana is actually yellow so this is going to be yellow like that let's separate that with a comma and on the next line we're basically going to say something like so let's say this is going to be cherry so let's put cherry right here and colon and we can actually go ahead and set its color let's say it's actually going to be something like red okay so that's just basically the last item right there so it wouldn't actually need something like a comma in there okay so for instance if you want to print out this dictionary right now we can actually do something like a print right here and then we can let's go ahead and copy and then paste this particular variable in here and then we can actually go ahead and save it and then let's see what is actually going to come off uh, for us so i'm going to right click on this page and then click on run dictionaries and if you take a look down here you see that we've got our result right here okay so this is the dictionary that we just created right here we have our apple and then we set the value to be red and then we'll have our banana we also set the value to be yellow and then we'll have cherry and then we have the value set to be red okay so that's just basically how to create something like a dictionary in that of the Python okay okay now the next thing we could actually look at is how we can how is it that we can actually access each of these value pairs okay we want to, uh, let's say we want to access this particular element right here or this particular element or even the third one right here okay we can actually do that it's really very simple so to do it is really very simple what i want to do i want to comment this out first of all let's make sure we put that in the comment and then we can come down here and to access let's say we want to access um the particular value right there i'm going to just do let me just copy this so that to make that a lot quicker i'm going to copy this and then paste that down here and once i do that what i want to do right now is first of all access that this particular first one that we're having here and to do it is really very simple you just basically need to once you get into this particular place let's enter a square bracket right here and i want to go ahead and then get this particular value right here which is apple you can go ahead and then put that in quotes in here and to save this right now and then let's try to run this you're going to see that we're going to basically get right okay so let's run this by clicking on in here and you see that we get red right here so the same thing applies to the rest so if you change this to something like banana right there and then save then let's click on run you see that we get yellow right there okay so that's just basically the value of it in here so the same thing applies to the third one you can actually do that yourself so let's just basically put a comment up here for what we have just done um we can basically put the comments maybe at the end of this place right here and just say something like accessing Python uh, dictionary values okay so that is just that on that line and we can however you know we can go ahead and then even comment that out before we do the next thing but what i basically want to do on the next line is to show you how you can actually modify a value okay so let's say you want to change the color of apple from red to something else or just any of the element in there you can actually do that and how do you do it that's what i'm going to basically show you right now and let's just try that so we're going to just say down here we're going to just do fruits 
let's make sure type that correctly fruit colors like that and then within that fruit color we're going to introduce a square bracket right here and we can actually go ahead and then bring in whichever uh, value that we basically want to change let's say this is going to be banana i want to change banana from uh, let's say it's actually yellow up there right i want to change that to something like green we can actually do that so if i do this we can basically go ahead and set this to be equal to something like let's say this is actually going to be green and let's comment out this line right here and yeah so just like that so if we save the changes right here you're going to notice that if we try to save the we can basically go ahead if we want to print out this that's fine but i think that what we basically want to do right now is to print out the whole array okay i mean uh, the whole dictionary down here so let's do that i'm going to copy that and then paste so i'm basically printing out all of this right here remember that what we did right here is called modification okay so we can put a comment in here and just say uh, modify the dictionary like that okay so i'm going to save the changes and then right click on this page or we can click on play right here and if you take a look at that please um, the result right here we see we have apple right here and we have the color set to red which is the same thing that we have up here okay so the next one that is interesting with what we've just done is that of the banana so if you take a look at banana right here you see that we have the color to be actually set to green but the originally we did not actually have that to be set to green it was actually yellow originally right here okay then we have cherry right here which is actually set to red and that's just basically fine so this is basically how you can actually modify the value of a dictionary right here okay so that's just what that is guys so we can um move on to the next thing that we basically want to do let's say maybe you want to run how we can actually add an additional key value paste to the dictionary that we have up here okay so we want to have an, another line down here and we can actually do that manually by just introducing a comma here and then when we get down here we can actually do that but uh, i want to do it in such a way that we can programmatically add it to that particular place and this is actually good in terms of if you have dynamics um dictionaries maybe you are getting the responses from a form okay you want to see how you can actually add that to um your uh, your dictionary up there okay so let's comment out these few lines that we have in here right now so i'm going to comment this out and then also comment this particular one out right there okay so what i want to do let me just put a comment down here and then say adding a value let's say this is going to be value piece call that key value piece okay i'm going to just add key right here key value piece if I want to add a key value pay, it's really very simple. You can pick the variable right there, which is actually called a food colors right there. And once you pick that, you can actually go ahead. Let's use scroll back quick right here. And we can bring in whatever um what is it called element we want to add. Let's say this time around we want to add the fruit that is actually called a date and you can structure it this way. You can introduce something like an quality sign in here, and then we can go ahead and um right there, I think. We need to have this outside okay this is going to be equal to you on the outside and you can go ahead and then set that to be something like let's say that the color of that is actually brown okay so we can do it this 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 way that we have it right here okay so if you want to print the result out you are going to see that we now have like four different items right there so what we'll have earlier is just three so we'll have apple we have banana and then we'll have that of the cherry Okay, so I'm going to print out the result right now. I'm going to copy this. And once I get down to that place down here, I'm going to go ahead and paste that. And let's see what this is actually going to give us. I'm going to save the changes and right click on that and then click on run um, right here. Okay, so if you take a look at our result right here, you see that we now have like four different items right here. This is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And then this is the fourth one right here. Okay, so this is the one we just basically added right now, which is actually called a date. And we we'll have that um right there on the screen for us. Okay, so that's just basically how that is actually done. Another thing or another instance we can actually take a look at right now is basically how we can maybe remove an item. So we have like four right here. If we want to remove an item, it's also very very simple. And to do that is really um very simple. And that's just basically by using a keyword that is actually called a there okay there for delete i keep on uh, i keep adding this particular um comments this type of comment and that just because i'm um, actually a php and then javascript developer actually okay so if i you may you may actually catch me do that quite a lot of times throughout this course okay so if you see me do that don't just uh, you know 
just ignore that and move on okay so that's just that so what i want to do right now is to show you guys how you can actually remove the key value piece okay so i'm going to put a comment in here and just say remove uh removing key value piece like that okay so if you want to learn how to do that it's really very simple what we want to do is really very simple we're going to just do dev and uh, not really dev but del for delete and we can actually bring in a variable which is actually called the fruit colors and what do we basically want to delete maybe we want to delete something like cherry so i'm going to just do that this way and then pass in cherry within this particular place so this is going to be cherry okay so if we save these changes right now and then we'll try to um before we save i think we need to print that out so if i'm going to just do a print down here and we can go ahead and then try to print out the fruit colors okay which is right here I want to just do print fruit colors like that okay and then if we save the changes and i will try to see if that is actually going to get out of the way so let's go ahead and then click on run from here and i think we'll have an issue right there i think uh, the issue is actually on this particular line which means that uh, oh sorry we um what we basically need to do right here is that we, we do not actually need this type of bracket right here we're going to need a square bra bracket in here Okay, so I'm going to put that as the first thing in there right now. And I think that should just basically solve the issue, guys. So let's run this again. And you see that um, that solves the issue. And then if you take a look at our result right here, guys, you now see that we have uh, uh, basically two results right here. We have apple and then we have banana right here. Okay. So if we take a look at the original thing here, you see that we've basically deleted this one right here and we'll now have only these two in our result. And the reason you are not seeing other ones down here, just like the one we added lately, this adding is because I have that commented out. Okay, that's why you are basically not really seeing it in there okay all right so and if you think um, um that this is basically not gonna ever show up it should be able to show up okay so we modified it before now so if i um comment this right here and then this means that we want to have this to be the fourth item in here so if we delete the cherry we should be able to have like three results okay so i want to save the changes and then we are going to have to take a look down here i'm going to see that we're going to bring in dates right now so i'm going to run this right now and you see now that we want to have dates right here we have banana and then we have uh, that of the apple right here okay so that's just basically how to uh, do that okay and that's it for dictionaries in that of the python guys so if you like the video just give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye for now